So the brain is responsible for every thought, feeling, and action. But how do the billions of cells in our brain manage these feelings, actions, and thoughts? The answer is, in our central nervous system, there are small gaps at the end of a neuron that allows a signal to pass from one neuron to next neuron. These small gaps are called synapses and approximately there are more than 100 trillion synapses in our central nervous system. These synapses uh, vary in size, in their structures and shapes and can be found at different sites on a neuron. For example, there may be synapses between the axon of one neuron and the dendrite of another neuron. And such uh, synapses will be called uh, exodendritic synapse. Uh, the synapse uh, can also be found between the axon of one neuron and the cell body of another neuron and will be called exosomatic synapse. And sometimes the synapse may be formed between two exons between two exons like one exon of one neuron and other exon of other neuron and such synapses will be called exoxonic synapses through these synapses neurons communicate with each other uh, and the process which is called and such process is called neurotransmissions sometimes hundreds or even thousands of synapses from different presynaptic neurons can affect a single postsynaptic neuron, uh, which is called convergence. But it is also possible that a single presynaptic neuron can send uh, branches to affect many other postsynaptic neurons, which is called divergence. The convergence allows information from many sources to influence a single neuron's activity while divergence allows one cell uh, one neuron to affect multiple pathways multiple neurons so come to the topic again the synapses are found where nerve cells connect with other nerve cells and uh, as we mentioned Synapses are the gaps at the end of neurons, but anatomically, synapses include three parts. The presynaptic ending, uh, which will contain neurotransmitters, and the synaptic cliff, uh, which is uh, located between the two neural cells, and the postsynaptic ending, um, which contains or receptors. Uh, the electrical impulse uh, when travel down the axon of a neuron, then this electrical impulse triggers the release of these tiny vesicles which contain neurotransmitters. These vesicles then bind to the membrane of presynaptic neuron and release their neurotransmitters and to the synapse. These chemical messengers cause the synaptic cliff and connect with receptor sites in next neural cells, which is called postsynaptic neuron. The chemical messengers uh, then triggering an electrical impulse in the postsynaptic neuron. So now we will discuss the types of synapses. The first number, the first is chemical synapse. In this type of synapse, the electrical activity and the presynaptic neuron triggers the release of chemical messengers which are called uh, neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters then diffuse across the synapse and bind to the specialized receptors at the postsynaptic neuron. The interesting point is the neurotransmitter either excites or inhibits the postsynaptic neurons. So the chemical synapses may be excitatory synapses 
which cause depolarization of the postsynaptic neuron or maybe an inhibitory synapse which cause hyperpolarization of a postsynaptic neuron. The excitation leads to firing of an action potential while inhibition prevents it. The second type is electrical synapse. In this type of synapses, two neurons are connected by specialized channels known as gap junctions. And these electrical synapses allow the electrical signals to travel quickly from the presynaptic cell to the postsynaptic cells, which rapidly speeding off the transfer of signals. The gap between electrical synapses is much smaller than uh, that of the gap present in chemical synapse, which is about 3.5 nanometers compared to 20 nanometers of chemical synapses. So the point is, uh, these electrical synapses transfer signals much faster than chemical synapses. And the second point is, as we discussed earlier, uh, the chemical synapses can be inhibitory or excitatory, but the electrical synapses are excitatory only. The electrical synapses uh, has the advantage of speed, but the strength of signal somehow diminishes and as a travel from one cell to next cell in case of electrical synapses. Chemical synapses uh, on the other side may be slower, but they can transmit a message without any loss in signal strength. 